Hello, my name is Jeremy Hodge. I'm a software designer here at Zeta One, and I'm here today to give you a uh, brief technical preview of one of our new products we'll be releasing soon. It's a product called OPA. Uh, OPA is an online social uh, project management tool. Uh, we've had a more robust planning tool built completely within Lotus Notes uh, for several years. It's geared more towards the uh, professional planner, uh, such as a meeting or event planner. Uh, that tool is run PGA tour events, rock concerts, horse shows, corporate hospitality, meetings, and a whole lot more. And with OPA, we're uh, taking what we've learned from that product and we're simplifying everything and we're creating a really powerful uh, project management tool for everybody. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, let's take a look at the product and uh, kind of go over some of its features. So here we've got the uh, OPA and uh, we're at the project center, which is the opening screen of the product. On the left hand side you can see uh, some recent news and some updates uh, going on with the project and the right hand side is the, the project navigator. Uh, top of the project navigator you can do a full text search across the entire project. Uh, you've got different views that you can view the project in and then you've got a list of team members that are working your project. Um, what we've got here on the left hand side under alerts are all the tasks that are overdue for you, uh, all the tasks that are due today and so forth. Uh, you've got any unread updates, so anytime a document's modified by anybody, you get a notification there and it's indicated with a yellow bar uh, that document's been unread. And uh, below that, you've got tasks that are coming up for you in the next seven days. Let's kind of jump into the meat and potatoes of the application. We'll jump over to the task list view. Okay, and here in the task list, we've got basically a list of all of the to-dos for our project. And they're all organized in different lists. Uh, each list has its own title, and they can be sorted any which way you want. Uh, to sort something, all you do is basically just click and drag the item, and it will resort it in the outline. So you can see there we just moved Internet Explorer, six bugs up and down and around. So you can just click and drag and resort, and it gets updated. And even if we uh, you know, refresh, you can see there it actually is saved and, and, and sorted. So if we go ahead and open up uh, one of these task lists, you can see here we've got a list of to-dos that we need to get done, uh, their current status, who they're assigned to, a, a due date if there's one assigned, and then a one-line description of that task. Uh, there's three different states for a task. Here you see that uh, these are completed. Uh, this one is in process. And if we look at another one here, we've got some here. Um, this is not started. Uh, the red bar indicates an overdue task. Uh, as we saw before, I believe we've got some here in the Internet Explorer 8 bugs. Um, the yellow indicates unread documents. Uh, to edit a document, all you have to do is just click on the little paper clip icon, and the task list will actually expand right there. Now you can see that we've opened that document and closed it. The uh, document's no longer marked yellow. It's, it's been viewed, so it's marked as red. Uh, this uses the uh, standard Lotus Notes uh, unread features. Uh, there isn't any special magic going on there. We'll just uh, detect whether the document is unread and set that yellow bar if it is. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at uh, at uh, some other capabilities with this. Uh, just like the task lists, uh, the individual tasks within a document can be sorted. So I can just click and drag one up here, and it'll resort. Um, do that here. As you can see, just quickly resorts it, and it's all set and uh, on the back end there. Uh, we can rename a task list if we click the Edit button here. And we can come in here and give it a new name there. And when we're done, just check the check mark, and it'll update the title of the document. If we want to add a new task to a task list, we can just click the little plus sign there. It'll scroll down the bottom and open up the new task document there. And here we can add a new task. Um, you can assign it to somebody here, or you can give it a, a due date. And here we have a place to put our, our notes for the task. Uh, we use actually a permanent pen that you can uh, assign yourself. Uh, and all of your notes will appear in your own permanent pen. So. Go ahead and enter some notes here. 
uh, and then go ahead and click the check mark to save it and it'll go ahead and add it to the task list and okay so you can see it's uh, it's added to the task list there uh, we can go ahead and close this out with the X it stays open so you can add multiple tasks there one right after another if we go ahead and edit this here we can take a look at what we've added and it'll pop it up and here we can correct our spelling mistake and uh, go ahead and put it in process if we like um, and you can see it added our auto trail there. You can see it updated the task there now. And, uh, it's now in process and it's got the spelling correction and so forth. Um, so again here, now we can uh, you know also check off a task right here in the view. We can just click the model check mark there and it'll check it off. And if you notice a little opus symbol pop up there, uh, kind of give you an idea actually now why we named the product OPA. Well, I'm sure you've all been to a Greek restaurant and you've ordered the uh, flaming cheese or flaming sausage. And the uh, waiter comes up and lights on fire and goes, Opa! Well, the idea is, uh, you know, Opa is a, a sentiment of celebration or cheers. And uh, when you check off that task, uh, the team is giving you cheers for uh, getting your task done. So let's look at another feature inside of the actual task. Uh, we can actually attach files to a task. We click a little paperclip icon there and attach file dialog comes up. It uh, gives you a chance to uh, put in a description for the uh, list there. Uh, you can browse to files uh, and you can go ahead and just upload something there. Uh, and it'll put it in the list of uploads and you can add multiple documents there. Um, and when it's all done, uh, it will put it in the list. Okay, there we go. So now the files upload, we can hit uh, save, and it'll actually save the document. And here we got a little bit of a bug that we're looking on. I should have closed the dialog, it didn't. So we'll go ahead and just close the dialog. And then it will update the audit trail here, and you can see that we've got the uh, documents that we've attached. So let's go ahead and uh, close that here, and take a look at another view, the uh, days tell due by team member. So go ahead and click on that. And uh, here we've got basically a, a view that shows everybody's tasks uh, under their name. So we'll go ahead and again click and expand the list here. And uh, you can see a list of all the different tasks that we have to do here. And it shows us our overdue tasks, tasks that are due in the next seven days. Um, there's another entry in there if you've got tasks that are due in seven to 14 days. Um, and then all the tasks that don't have a due date, uh, it lists them there in chronological order, uh, newest to oldest. Uh, just like in the uh, task uh, view, you can edit the tasks right here and reassign them, and give them new due dates and so forth, add notes and so forth. Um, one last thing I want to show you is the uh, full text search. Uh, if we come up here and enter um, some information, uh, for example, we'll search for the word zero. It'll do a full text search and then show you everything it finds. And you can actually then again open the associated task right from there. Uh, let's go ahead and do uh, one more little search there. You can search for, for example, anything uh, for an individual. We'll search for my name there. We should pull in a whole bunch of different tasks. Uh, and you can see here it is full text scored, just like a normal domino uh, search results. And you've got all the different tasks. Uh, you can actually look at uh, notes for individual tasks. So here's a note. Um, and you can open the associated tasks to that note. Uh, it'll also do full text searches through the attachments and so forth and show you the attachments and then you can open the associated task from there as well. Uh, so that's pretty much open in a nutshell. Um, it's uh, not feature complete at this point but it uh, gives you kind of a good feeling for, for what the product is and where it's going and uh, again it's 100% built in XPages using uh, Domino 851 and some Dojo to do for example a drag and drop and so forth. Uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, whatever, uh, feel free to contact me either on Twitter, Jeremy Hodge, uh, my blog here, hodgeblogs.com, or uh, you can send me an email at jeremy.hodge at zeta1.com. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, have a good day.